Idaho Parents Unlimited provides art education for students with disabilities in schools statewide. Their goal is to make sure everyone can participate. Now, as our Lindsay Amundsen explains, they're partnering with the Idaho Anti-Trafficking Coalition to include youth in juvenile detention centers. One of the kids also doesn't have a home to go to when she gets out. I mean, oh, she said, but you know, art is my home and no one can take that away from me. Heather spends seven to eight weeks with groups at the juvenile detention centers where she teaches them anything from how to make a journal to proper watercolor techniques. And then they collect images, um, layer with words, they are really into music. Um, and so love to include lyrics and anything that kind of like helps draw them out and give them context for where they are visually. But the art education program is about a lot more than just art. We laugh a lot. I mean, there's there's just a lot of real connection and rapport. And um, it's about them feeling like they're heard, you know, and that someone's listening. Offering an art program, I think, will lead to positive outcomes. It, it, it gives them an opportunity to not only see the value in themselves through beautiful art, um, but also that there are people out there who can support them and especially help develop goals and dreams and opportunities. Heather says art is a language and helps the youth reflect on where they are now and how they envision their lives in the future. It's also a safer way um, because they don't have to say every single little thing, you know, that's happened to them or that they have experienced in their lives. It's like they can use the visual metaphors that only they really know. This program also helps the youth transition out of the detention centers back into our community. They've gone through things that most people ha won't ever experience in their life, and they're taking what they've learned and are, you know, moving ahead in a really beautiful way. Art, it creates such an amazing um, voice for those who may not have ever had a voice. Lindsay Amundsen, Idaho News 6.